Um, I haven't really done much filming because Max has been really, really poorly. I think the change of the weather and um, all of that. And then he's got a cold and then he had his jabs and he's teething. And it's just one thing after another at the moment. So um, I thought I'd take you with me, with us, me and Max, today. Um, God, I'm so puffed out. What the heck? Um, I thought I'd take you with us today because I'm going to try and make up maybe like a little basket or something for to get ready for like Halloween um, for me and Harry and then get a few bits for Max as well. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you that, where we're going to go, the shops that we go to, prices, things like that. Um, and then make up like the little baskets. Well, I'm going to do maybe one basket just for me and Harry. I don't know, I haven't decided, but yeah, I thought I'd just uh, bring you with us. This is outfit of the day. This jumper I got from Vinted actually. I think I said that in my last year. Boots. These boots I actually got in a car boot sale, believe it or not, for like three quid. Um, I've scuffed them up quite badly now, but yeah, bargains. Obviously, trusty leggings, jumper, and Maxi Moo is wearing um, navy joggers and a navy um, jumper. I'll actually try and show you the front in a minute. First things first <laughs> is that I need to go in and take two parcels which I've been meaning to do for about three days now but obviously where Max has not been well I just haven't had the time to do it um so we're gonna go and do that first I need to get Max in the car I've got his stuff and the parcels are already in the car so I'm gonna go and do the parcels and then we will go to the shops state of my car this is not even half of it but my god right let's see this is the jumper Little me, big dreams, and then obviously he's got to have his Spider-Man bib. Look at these little hands. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna strap Max in, and we're gonna go. I do really need to sort my car out at some point because it's just. I mean, I don't even know if you can see back there. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna be real with you. We got to the car. We was about to leave, and I literally went to record something. And I have no space left on my phone. Now, if Harry's watching this, which I'm sure he will at some point, he'll be like, oh, I told you so. <laughs> because he always tells me I need to clear out my phone. So we've just come back so that I can just pop some bits onto here. Um, so I've done that, cleared my phone, so at least I can take you with me. Because otherwise it'll be no point. I won't be able to show you anything. Um, but I thought we'd be real with you. I'm not going to just pretend that it didn't happen. So... So yeah, but what I was going to say to you in the car when I realised I couldn't record anymore was that it's really annoying, but the um, every shop that I normally go to, they're not taking parcels. The next closest one, they're not doing the labels and I need to print the labels in store. So now we've got to travel even further, which is really annoying. Petrol's expensive. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> to leave and um, Max needed to feed. <laughs> I didn't realise the time, but it's been two hours since his last feed. Um, and he's been feeding a bit more often just because he's a bit, bit under the weather. So um, I think he like, started like chomping down on like the side of my face and my chin. And I was like, is it your teeth? And I was like, oh, it looks like it's hard. I was like, oh, he's probably hungry. And I've put him on and he is. So um, yeah, now we're feeding. <laughs> so we'll feed. I mean, that's the good thing, I suppose, about breastfeeding is that I don't have to worry about, like, making up the bottles and stuff. Um, so, like, and obviously he's fed on demand. So, like, literally as soon as he's hungry, I can just whip the boob out, um, which is really, really handy. But obviously it's also really challenging. But I think I'll do a separate video, maybe a QA, and a and then, like, I don't know, just, like, my experience of, like, breastfeeding so far. Because I had a really, really rough start at the beginning. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll do that as well. Um, but yeah, I have seen like some really nice like little um, TikTok videos of like people making like boo baskets and things like that. But yeah, I'm I love Halloween. Um, I mean, I don't like being scared, <laughs> but I do love Halloween and dressing up and like decorating and things like that. And we haven't really done too much since we moved into this house. Like, I've got a few candles and bits and bobs, but. Um, I've got an idea for a little DIY photo shoot I want to do for Max. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find some bits for that. Um, and then obviously I want to decorate this year because obviously it's Max, it's his first Halloween. So although he's probably too young to know what the hell is going on. But 
you know, they always say it's not really for them. They're not going to remember, but we will. And I most definitely will. So some decorations. So yeah, I think just bring you guys along once we actually get out of the house. Max has fallen asleep. So we're actually going to leave the house now. Um, oh. Yeah, we can leave the house now. No, put me in the car seat. So we're back. We did the parcels. I didn't record that bit because it was a bit of a shambles. Where you have to go, you can only park for so long. So I quickly got Max out. Then I didn't know if I actually brought the parcels. Not brought them because I thought they were in the car. And then when I was driving, I thought, hmm, I can't actually see them. But um, I did find them. They were there. Um, and then... So I got Max out of the car, did two parcels, printed the labels, gave them to the lady. The lady's already, always really nice in there, bless her. She was chatting along to Max. Um, then I got back to the car and I realised that there's like a padded bit. I'll have to show you it. There's a padded bit that goes over the belt that goes in between his legs. And it's not attached to the car seat, so it comes on and off. Um, and then when I was strapping him back in the car, I was like, where the hell is it gone? So I strapped him in and I thought, hang on a minute, it's missing. Looking around the car for it, can't find it anywhere. Where are you going, Puppet? Max is just having another feed. Um, so then I had to unstrap him, lock the car, walk back the way I went. Um, and it turned out that it was outside the shop on the floor. So I was glad that I actually went back. And on the way back, um, Max was really sick all down himself so we haven't made it to the shops the other shops for the halloween stuff yet um oh you dropped it here yeah. um i got i've just done max's nappy um but i took off the other jumper and then he was sick on the vest after his feed so i just had to change his vest i've done his nappy his vest he's got a new hoodie on so we are going to try and leave i'm really i really would like to just stay in at this point but I really really need chocolate <laughs> so yeah we're just we're just gonna do it we're just gonna go for it and we're just gonna try and leave right now this is the thing that I'm talking about so it just goes but where's it gone Max on that but obviously I lost it earlier and I've just come back in come back to the car and it's there now so oh dear first stop is how cute are these? These are really cute. They're really cute. I just think this. I have to get hot chocolate. I only have it in the winter, so we're getting this. Two forty nine. We've got quite a pin here in the works, which is amazing. But look at these books. I've just got this one. How cute is that? <laughs> I really like these. These are really cute. But £9. £9 for a teddy that he's never going to use again. <laughs> yeah. Get a few bits in here and have a look around. Loads of chocolates. Might get those for Harry actually. These are really cute actually. I love these. Those tea towels are so cute. We have just got back. It was a bit of a rush getting out of there. I looked at the time and I was like, oh gosh, the car park. So uh, quickly just shoved everything out of the buggy into the car strapped Max in safely so that he was all right, put my seatbelt on and just drove. So, 
Okay, Max slept the whole time we was out. So he's got a good sleep in, but he's awake now. So I haven't eaten. It's like three o'clock. And all I've had is, I had a bacon, bacon and egg sandwich this morning for breakfast and I haven't had anything. Oh, and a chocolate bar. I swear to God, it's getting, the, the sweet treats are a bit crazy. Um, so I'm gonna try and eat. Max will need another feed, nappy change, and then I'll show you guys what we got. He loves his book. Max is just looking at his incy wincy spider book, having a bit of tummy time. I'll just play this for him. He really likes this book. He's, um, he can roll over from his back to his tummy so easily, but he gets a bit stuck on his tummy, but he's really trying to like push his legs up, like here, push him up into like a crawling position. So I don't know if it'll be that long. Exciting. Max is just having a play on, uh, we've got these two like water play mats for tummy time um, that my friend Greg's got us. So he's just having a little play on that. Where are you going? Oh my goodness me! You turn over. Do you want this one? Roll over then. Roll over. That's it. You can have this one. Good job. You can have some bubbles. We love a bit of bubbles in this house. Um. Ooh. I've just eaten, um, Max actually doesn't want a feed right now, so I'll probably feed him after I show you guys all of the stuff that we get. Yeah. So I went to b and I then went to the works, and then I went to uh, Poundland. So um, b and had they had a, a little bit around the store then as I was leaving the store they had like a whole aisle of Halloween stuff which I hadn't seen so they have like a different they have one entrance and then a different exit and I went out the other exit and that was when I saw all the Halloween stuff and I was like oh I'm leaving now so um I have a feeling that I'm gonna try and convince Harry to go back on the weekend so so I think Harry might like to choose a couple of bits as well but there was like more stuff that I saw but then as I said before I started this bit. I know, it was crazy, wasn't it? It was so chaotic trying to get back to the car. And I didn't realise the time, you only get 60 minutes. So, um, yeah, I think we're gonna go back. Um, I think I've got most of the stuff from the pound shop, actually. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you're rolling over again. Oh, you turned the bubbles on. You want to go? Right, so I got four things from B and M. Um, <coughs> that obviously I got the hot chocolate because I, if you know me, I only really drink hot drinks if I'm unwell. <coughs> yeah, if I'm unwell or like if it's cold, and I used to be cold all the time especially in the winter, autumn, winter time. <clears throat> and obviously since I've had Max, I'm like a really sweaty and hot person now. But I think once it gets a bit colder, I'm... Yeah, you want to talk as well? Good job. You're dribbling lots. I'll get rid of that bit. He's telling me, Mummy, you're too slow on the bubbles. Oh! Oh! Um, so yeah, so hot chocolate, I think, once it gets a bit colder, I'm gonna really, really want it. And I tried this last year, and I really like this um, Galaxy one. The other one I really like is the Aero one. That one's really nice, but this one was 500 grams, and it was 2 pounds 49, and then the um, the Aero one was only like 200 grams or something, and it was like two pound, I want to say two pound foe, excuse me. So obviously it made more sense to get this. So I got that, and Daddy likes the hot chocolate too, doesn't he? Yeah, Daddy drinks mostly tea. He did have a coffee stage, but mostly tea. Um, then I've got 
spooky lollies. Can you see them? Yeah. Oh. Spooky lollies. They're really cute. They were from B&M and they were... You right? He needed a feed. <laughs> um, you got it? There we go. Yeah, so, spooky lollies, they were... You're being nosy, aren't you? Like mummy. Uh, a pound. And then I got... These are like called sour bones. They look like little bones. They are... They were 89p. And then little tarantula things. Um, and they were 89p as well. So... They'll go in mine and Harry's like little basket that I'm gonna make up. Next, I went to yeah. Do you 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 hungry or not? Next, I went to the works. I spent a little bit more in the works. So obviously in B and M, I only spent five pound twenty seven. Yeah, five pound twenty seven in B and M, and then in the works. It came to £15 and I had 50p on my works loyalty card. If you haven't got one, get one because you save quite a bit of money. Um, and then you can use it, or you gain points and then you can use the money, which was really handy. So I had 50p on that. So it came to £14.50. Um, and I did get quite a few bits, but obviously not all of it was actually for Halloween. But I will show you anyway. Um, so it's my sister's birthday, Auntie Beck Beck. Um, and she loves reading, same as me. So, um, I just found a couple of books. So, I got her this one. Love in the Time of Serial Killers. Sounds quite good, actually. Um, I might have to go back and get myself one. Um, and then I got her Under the Sycamore Tree. Um, and this was £2 in sound. That one was £3. So, got those for her. I have got her one other book as well for her birthday. So... Um, I do need to get a card and stuff. Um, then I got this for Maxi, four pound. Like this one, if you're spooky and you know it. Um, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> you like that one? Um, so it's got like the different. Like characters in it and yeah so that one i got for maxi yeah. Oh, yeah. i just wanted a little snack he's done and i got this like little bunting trick or treat for a pound so i put that in the living room somewhere my dinner. yeah the living room right and then spiderweb decoration for a pound now i really i'm petrified of spiders um, were you laughing at me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Harry doesn't particularly like them, but he will deal with them. I'm petrified. But Max's favourite story is in Suicide, spider climbed up the water spout. <gasps> Down came the rain. He loves that because he's got the book and it's like got music to it. So, I don't know, maybe he will like spiders. Um, I'm really, really going to try hard not to show my fear of spiders in front of Max as he gets older. But I don't know, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, so that was a pound in the works as well. And then I got black paint, black paint? White paint and black paint for a pound each. So I want to do some, um, like, arts and crafts with Max. So over some ghosts and spiders, they were a pound each, which I thought was really good. And then these are called wiggly eyes. I would call them wiggly eyes, but a uh, pack of 200, and that was a pound as well. I've seen these really cool, like, sensory bags on TikTok. Um, so I'll show you when we do them. But yeah, I think that might be really nice for Halloween as well. Um, so that was everything I got from the works. 
But I'm going to show you what I bought, I think it was either last week or the week before. I think it was last week. Um, also from the works. Um, so I got him this, this other Halloween book. It's like a touchy-feely book. Um, which is fiver and it's got all different like textures in it as well which I thought was really nice um, so I bought that last week and I also bought this pack of five um, they're a bit smaller than those ones that I got today um, but obviously a little bit more sort of different colours variety that's the word um, and that was four pound um, and then I got some uh, white card for a pound as well doing lots and lots and lots of artwork aren't we yes um so yeah obviously that was from last week but that's all from the works to do with halloween um and then i went to the pound the pound land pound land that was it um and i spent 12 pound 45 in there now not all of it's for halloween um so i bought got myself this um like face scrub um I wanted just to try something different at the moment so my face felt really i don't think you can see but it's not felt very nice recently so i thought i'd try and give this a go so that was i think it was two pound um so yeah so that was two pound um sorry my phone died and palavras over here so i got that for two pound i got sanitary towels needs must um 85p though that was quite good um then i got because period i need it bad um one of them is mine and this one's for harry so um then for halloween i got harry this i thought this was really cute and um, it's got like jelly beans in it um that i want to say was a pound but yes that so that was actually a pound um then i got i just got some caramel popcorn never had it but harry likes caramel so i thought we put that in the like little basket bowl thing whatever that i'm gonna find um that was 125 um so that can go in as well then i got these mini sour lollipops brain blasters these were they were a pound as well then i got um some pumpkin chocolates and then some eyeballs and they were a pound each as well um and then i got were these a pound as well yes um then i got these like pumpkin decorations and then yeah you like those ones and then i got uh pumpkin paper lanterns as well so not bad was that everything maxime think so so this is uh everything that i got for halloween today and last week from all of the places that i just said um so yeah so obviously the books and stuff are for max and obviously like the paint and stuff so we can do some arts and crafts and obviously all the sweets and junk is obviously for me and harry <laughs> um and then obviously we've got some decorations so but yeah i do think we'll probably go back uh on the weekend with daddy won't we um and maybe get some more decorations. I don't know, we'll see. I've got some pumpkins upstairs, like candle, um, what are they called? Candle, no, wax melts. Wax melts, no, candle hold, oh, I don't know, whatever they're called. Pumpkins um, for candles upstairs. Um, so I'm gonna go and have a look for those when Max goes down for his next nap. Um, but I thought that was quite a good, like for the prices and stuff, like you can do quite a lot with I suppose like a little bit less money as well like my maternity leave so you know if you know you know <laughs> i think that was not halloween related oh and then i did get this um for a pound this bag i saw it oh, let me move that out of the way i saw it in the works and i thought oh it's cute it's cute don't anyone say to me it's too early for christmas it's not but first halloween halloween first yes 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 um so yeah i'm gonna go and see if i can find all my other halloween bits from upstairs i have got uh, let me turn around actually i have actually got uh like a little halloween uh bowl or something upstairs so i might try and use that as like our boo basket rather than buying another one 
um because it is more just for me and harry like the sweetie bits um and then i did see one in b&m on my way out which i think we'll go back on the weekend and get for max which is more of like a fabricy one which can be obviously saved for like each year and stuff so um i'm gonna go upstairs and see if i can find and dig out all of the other halloween bits that i've got um gonna make some uh kebabs and sort dinner out and then yeah i don't know we'll see obviously i've got some bits in spare room like for halloween that i want to get out but we'll see how much we get done because i don't even know how long max is going to sleep for and he only went down about 15 minutes ago um i mean it's 10 to 6 now so he normally does about an hour and then he stays up until about 9 9 30 so we will see i'm gonna try and do dinner and just get it all done hi guys um we i haven't filmed for a few days max got like a lot worse he was like really really poorly harry was then not well had a few days off of work um i started to feel quite low i think it was just sort of everything getting on top of me at once um plus all the illness and then obviously we had some like rough nights sleeping because obviously max is not sleeping probably because he's not felt well he's teething he's got a cold um and obviously he had his jabs as well beginning of the week so yeah it's just been i just put put this all on on a pause and just took a took a breather um but we are back and um today i'm actually going to try and get in the loft not in the loft i mean i call it the loft but it's not the loft so we're waiting harry wants to put some boards up in the loft the loft hasn't got anything up there um so he wants to sort out the loft after he's done with the garden refurb um i keep saying to him one thing at a time um but i know what he's like um so yeah so he wants to sort out the loft so that all the stuff in our big spare room can go up into the loft which he will do at some point i know but it's just not right now um so yeah that when i say loft that's actually what i mean our spare room <laughs> um so i'm gonna try and get in there and see if i can find all of our halloween bits and bobs um any decorations things like that and i'll show you guys what we've got um but yeah this morning we've been to a uh it's like a baby and toddler rhyme time class um it was okay it was like a half an hour class um so yeah i just went and got some petrol as well so but maximo is having a sleep he's having a little snooze in the car seat at the moment obviously not for long but um yeah i'm just taking five minutes to myself for the minute <laughs> what to say we went to the charity shop after um the rhyme time group and i got this how beautiful is this needs a wipe over um but 50p 50p um welcome to the world and i've got a polaroid camera and i need to get some film um but i've got photos of me pregnant and then one of max when i think he's like a week old um so i think maybe if i get some film i can pop those in like where the pegs are how and it matches his theme like jungle animals so lovely it can just be hung on the wall so yeah and then also got these for 50p so we've got very hungry caterpillar abcs um and then i got say goodnight a little kitten and i had a look through all the pages and it's like perfect condition so i love that so one pound fifty spent not bad so yeah we need to go and do a food shop we need to get a card for auntie beck beck uh, for her birthday for my sister and then we're going to come back and hopefully he can have a good snooze because he's still not he's still not right bless him it's like Lidl and they've got all of this for Halloween as well. My little broomsticks. These are quite cute. I might actually have to get these. Little pumpkin string lights. We've got loads of outfits, party wear. This is really cute. But I don't know if he's... I think his books might fit in it for 99p. Might have to get that actually. I have these from last year, I've got both of these, but I haven't got this one, cute. And then loads and loads and loads of goodies. So we've just gotten back from um, Lidl, Max has just gone down for a nap, so I thought I'd just show you some more halloween -y bits that I got. So I've got two of these, I thought they were really cute. They did have pumpkin ones um, and skull ones, but 
thought we'd just have the milk chocolate rather than orange or white. 99p. So 99p each. And I've got these pickled onion, bats and ghosts. And then tomato, bats and ghosts. One forty nine each. So no idea how they taste, but they can go with mine and Harry's little Halloween basket thing that we're gonna do. So filming over the last week or so has been all over the place, really inconsistent, I'm starting, stopping, um, and the reason for that is that Max has been so poorly, um, so he's teething really, really bad, and he's got this really, really bad cold, and it's just completely wiped him out, so um, yeah, this vlog might be a little bit all over the place, but that's okay, because my baby boy comes first. Um, but he's just gone down for another nap, so I thought I would quickly show you some of the outfits that I got themed with Halloween. Um, for the Halloween period, they're so cute, so quickly show you those. First, I got him this bib, my first Halloween, and I got him these little pumpkin booties. Um, I actually got this off, off of Vinted for... I want to say it was like four pound with postage um and i believe they're from george asda if i can get the label i'm not sure um but i thought they were really cute my first halloween really really sweet so that was the first thing then i also got this off of vinted i've washed it already um but this was actually brand new with the tags um, and again, I paid like a pound, four pound in total with postage off of Vinted, which I thought was really, really good. So just a little baby growth for bed. Um, and this is from Matalan. Um, and then I got this. This is what he's going to wear on actual Halloween, I think. Um, I think we're going to go to like a baby group on, on Halloween. So yeah, he's got that. And then he's got the little hat, matching hat to go with it. This is from... F and F, so yeah, really good. This was uh, used, but I just gave it a wash, and again, it was like pounds. So for something that he's only going to really wear once, I thought bargains. So that's his clothes. Now this is the what I call the loft room with just crap everywhere. Um, I need to get over there, down the back, for my Halloween bits and bobs, and I can show you those. So okay, I found the bits and bobs. <laughs> So first, like, I love Halloween, um, and, like, I always used to dress up, like, when I was younger and stuff, and then, like, for my work and stuff, I would dress up. <laughs> I just found, I absolutely love this jumper. I can't even remember where I got it from now, but that is so cute. I might actually even wear this to the pumpkin patch when we go. Um, so yeah, got that. I just found this. Um, I don't think I'm, I've not actually ever worn this. Move it back a bit. I mean, yeah, it's got to be a top. <laughs> um, and then a little cat. Oh, what's going on there? Cat ears. And then I've got. These are a bit like tangled. I'm gonna say this is from Primark a couple of years ago, maybe. Um, they always have new ones. That is so cute. <laughs> and then just more cat ears. Um. <sighs> so I might. Um, Maybe I'll wear the cat ears. <laughs> I don't know. And then other bits I've got. So I don't know if I filmed it. I think I did. In Lidl they've got some candles, um, candle holders, and then like uh, pumpkin lights and things like that. And I was going to buy the pumpkin lights and then I was like, actually, I think I have them. And I do... Um, so I don't know if they work. Might need a new battery. Oh, wait. Um, so yeah, pumpkin lights, and obviously they'll be to decorate the house. Then I have 
this one is from Lidl and they're doing it again this year but I think I got this like two years ago um so candle and then I've got two of these not sure where they're from to be honest might be the pound shop um like to put little candles in so they're really cute um and then I've got this like little fake plant pumpkin one um and then I've got a candle that I've actually never um lit pumpkin pumpkin candle it actually does smell quite nice um Wickford and Co is that home bargains I'm not sure um and then this was from Lidl as well a couple of years ago but again I'm pretty sure I saw this in Lidl the other day so um yeah exciting um and then I got this my mum actually made this with like the cry cut stuff um yeah from the Halloween film likewise so yeah got that and then obviously I was saying that I'm gonna make a little basket for me and Harry so that we can like watch a movie in the evening or whatever um and just some Halloween bits and this is the basket that I've got from B&M a couple of years ago but it's like all disfigured <laughs> Um, from where it's been holding but I reckon I could probably yeah I think it'd be all right it was only a pound and then this week I'm gonna go to Lidl and I'm gonna get the I didn't buy it but I wish I had now um I'm gonna get the plastic bucket pumpkin bucket for Maxi Moo for like his books and bits um, so yeah I feel like we are nearly prepped and ready for Halloween um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit all over the place. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.